Hello friends. In this problem a square has been given. So this square is A, B, C, D. And inside this square we have a quarter circle. Side length of a square is given that is AB is equals to 5 unit. So this length is given that is 5 unit. Now we have to find the area of green shaded region. So we have to find area of this region. Now let us try to solve this problem. This is a square and side length is 5 unit. This means all side will be 5 unit. So this AD is 5 unit, DC is 5 unit and BC is also 5 unit. Now AC is the diagonal of this square. We can calculate its length. Now if you remember there is a formula. In case of a square length of diagonal is root 2 times side length and in this case side length is 5 unit. So length of diagonal is simply 5 root 2. So now I can say AC which is diagonal this is equals to 5 root 2. So diagonal is 5 root 2. Now we want to find length of PC. So what is this length? We know total length that is AC is equals to 5 root 2. And if I subtract AP, then I will get PC. So you can say PC is equals to AC minus AP. What is AC? AC is 5 root 2. We have already calculated. And what is AP? Now see, this is side as well as this is radius of this quarter circle. So this means radius of quarter circle is 5 unit. This means from here to here this is the radius that is AP is equals to 5 unit. So I can plug this value here. So AP is equals to 5 unit and I can take 5 common. So this is root 2 minus 1. So now I know length of PC. Now what about angle ACB that is ACB that is this angle. Now if you remember diagonal also bisects the angle and in a, in a square this angle is 90 degree and this is the bisector of angle so this angle will be 45 degree. So now I know angle ACB this angle is 45 degree because diagonal is going to bisect this angle. So this angle is 45 degree. What about this angle that is angle CPN? This will also be 45 degree because this angle is 90 degree. This is given in the problem that MN is parallel to AB and this is parallel and this is 90 degree. This means this angle is 90 degree. So if this is 90, this is 45, this has to be 45 because sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degree. So now, you, now I know that angle CPN, this is equals to 45 degree. So this angle is 45 degree. Now if you see this angle is 45 and this angle is also 45. This means triangle CPN is an isosceles triangle. So this means side PN is equals to side NC. So we can write PN is equals to NC because triangle PCN is a is an isosceles triangle. Now let us do some construction. So from point P, I am going to draw a perpendicular on line DC, and this perpendicular we will call this as PQ. So this is PQ that is perpendicular on line DC. Now this angle is 90, this angle is 90, this angle is also 90 because this is a square, this angle has to be 90. So if you consider this, that is P and C Q, all angles are 90 and this side is equal to this side. This means this is an a square, this is a square. So now you can say P Q C N, that is P Q C N, 
this is a square. Now in triangle PCN we can do some trigonometry. So in triangle PCN I can write sin 45 degree. So sin 45 degree will be CN that is opposite divided by hypotenuse or in this case hypotenuse is PC. So CN divided by PC. Why I am doing this? I am doing this to calculate this value CN. So Cn divided by Pc and we already calculated Pc. Pc is 5 times root 2 minus 1. So this is my Pc. So if I cross multiply, I can get the value of Cn. So Cn will be sin 45 times this. Sin 45 times 5 times the square root 2 minus 1. Now sin 45 is 1 by root 2. So Cn is equals to 5 times the square root 2 minus 1 divided by root 2. I can multiply by root 2 in the numerator and in the denominator. So this becomes 2 and this becomes 5 times 2 minus root 2. So I know Cn that is this, this length and Cn is also equal to Pn because this is a square. So this is also equals to Pn. So now I can calculate area of this triangle. So area of this triangle will be half times base times height because this is a right angle triangle. So area of triangle PCN is equals to half times base, base is PN that is this one that is the same thing times CN height, height is same again. So this is 2 into 2 into 2 that is 1 by 8. So this will be in the denominator will have 8 and this is 5 into 5 25 and this is 2 minus root 2 times 2 minus root 2. So this is nothing but 2 minus root 2 whole square. So this is a square that is 4 plus b square that is 2 minus 2ab that is 2 into 2 4 root 2. So this is 25 by 8 and this is 4 plus 2 6 minus 4 root 2. So now I know area of this triangle. We can also calculate area of this part because this is a part of a circle. This is one fourth of circle. This is one fourth of circle and this is one eighth of circle. So I can calculate this area. We already calculated this area and we can calculate this triangle area that is ABC. So I can calculate the reason of a green reason, area of green reason. So that is area of this region that is BPN that is green region this is nothing but area of triangle that is ABC minus area of this sector that is ABP or APB minus area of this triangle that is triangle PNC or PCN. Now we know all these things triangle area that is half into base into height this length is 5. So base is 5, height is 5, so half into 5 into 5 and this is a right angle triangle. Area of sector that is pi r square by 8 because this is 8th portion and r is 5, so pi times 5 square divided by 8. And area of PCN we already calculated that is this value 25 times 6 minus 4 root 2 divided by 8. Now if I simplify this is nothing but 5 into 5 25 by 2 and this is 25 pi by 8 this is 25 by 8 with a negative sign and this is 25 into 6 that is 150 divided by 8 with a negative sign and this negative this negative becomes positive and 25 into 4 that is 100 and times root 2 divided by 8. I can further simplify so this becomes if I cancel with 4 so this will be 25 and this will be 2 so this is 25 by 2 root 2 and then this is minus 25 pi by 8 and if you combine these two terms that is this term and this term this is simply minus 50 by 8 and if you cancel out 2 here these two things are same so this will be 25 by 4 so this is the area of green shaded region so I hope you enjoyed this problem and if you like these problems, please share with your friends, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.